Teams of students are huddled over computers on a Saturday morning here at Chantilly Academy. This is a pretty good indication that some kind of STEM or science, technology, engineering and math lesson is taking place. But these students are participating in an international computer competition and there are a lot of lessons in addition to STEM that will be learned before this day is over. A Cyber Patriot is the national cyber defense competition um, created by the Air Force Association, um, sponsored by North of Grumman, and it is a high school defense competition where we have 11 teams here today competing, um, anywhere between three and seven students on each team, and they are offered images released by the Air Force Association, and they are identifying vulnerabilities and using you know, their skills learned in the classroom and you know, at a, in a real world application. Today we are at Cyber Patriot and we're working on images to, it's basically to protect a computer's dummy computer, so we're trying to set up security and protect our computer. An image is a virtual instance or a virtual copy of a machine. So if you have a device and then it's got its operating system on it and then you have a virtual instance in there, it is a carved out area of that computer that in which it hosts a complete instance or a whole operating system if you will just like itself. Students from 19 different FCPS high schools came to Chantilly Academy to compete. Some teams are organized through IT specific classes while others consist of an after school club. This hands-on competition extends well beyond Chantilly Academy. Each team here is competing against over 1,000 others from all 50 states, as well as against teams from around the world. Everyone is painstakingly sifting through the same computer images, hunting for problems, problems IT professionals face every day. There's a dozen or so, usually between, between 10 and 20 uh, errors or mistakes or misconfigurations or uh, anomalies or even viruses maybe or even root kits, things that are on that image that they have to go in there and find and either eliminate, fix, or uh, take care of. Students will employ a lot of practical, technical skills in identifying issues and applying the proper fix. IT professionals refer to this process as hardening of a system. Teams will search the internet and use their own operating systems to compare the flawed image with that of a properly working computer. But successfully orchestrating a fix among a team of students requires an additional skill set. In this competition, just like in the real world, technical expertise often takes a back seat to solid cooperation, critical thinking, and good communication skills. Well, all right. That's secure, I never would have guessed that. Yep. All right. It's not just on one person's teamwork because you have to communicate with everybody on protecting your computer and protecting everything else. Last year, three of the top teams were from FCPS, two from Marshall Academy, and the winners from Chantilly. One team that's looking to take Chantilly Academy back to the top ranks is an all-female team. They know the perception they're up against and they use the stereotypes as a source of inspiration. I think it's really more competitive. Um, we have more of the edge of, okay, we can go in and we can beat these guys rather than, oh, we're just going to lay back and not do anything. It's really important because not that many women are in the STEM field and not in the um, technology realm. So it's really important to us, for us to put ourselves out there and show them that we do know our, our technology really well. This is the first of three rounds in the Cyber Patriot competition. Students will be back at it with new images and new problems to uncover during round two in December. The Cyber Patriot competition allows students to gain valuable real-world IT experience in STEM-related subjects. Students test their technical and computer knowledge and balance that with valuable lessons in communication and cooperation, all of which are critical skills in the 21st century. I think it's absolutely critical to security of our nation, our infrastructure, and all the way down to our families, protecting our families from predators and, and things that are out there. It's very applicable at every layer because uh, you, our day-to-day -day activity involves the internet. I'm doing it because I think it's a great learning opportunity. I think it's good to have in your background and it's always good to take in new information, especially if you want to get into this field. 
Uh, the best thing about today is um, putting forth our two cents and saying that women do know the technology realm really well, just like how men do.